Hello everybody and welcome to another Transformers third party review. Now, I've got to send this little guy here back to Madhouse Toys tomorrow so Eric can have a little mess around with him. Basically, this is the Ollie 2.0. Uh, it's one of the test shots from X Transbot. I've just got hold of it, just had a little fiddle around, test the resilience, test the clearance, and just see how it compares in general. Uh, to be honest with you, I really liked Ollie uh, 1.0. Uh, my original pre production was pretty darn good. Uh, an actual final release? Uh, yeah, not so much. Um, he's here, I had a lot of problems. I tried to modify the waist myself, uh, try and give him a little bit more room for clearance there, and he's now a little bit of a wibbly wobbly mess. <laughs> <laughs> but he's served his purpose. He just sits on Grimlock. That's all he does. But uh, yeah, it's a shame because it literally is the perfect rendition of Wheelie. But we have 2.0 here. Now, there's a bit of hype over on TFW about this guy. People are saying, oh, how dare they re-release something now they've improved the mold. Um... Should they have got it right first time? Yes, yes they should. But the stuff the X Trans bots and the likes of Keith's Fantasy Club have been releasing lately, the plastic injection moulding they're using is of a much higher grade. The quality is really up there with the big boys. And the QC is the best they've had it for a long, long time. So I can see why they're revisiting this. The fans hated what happened with him at production. So they've given him a really masterpiece figure for your collection that isn't going to fall apart. Uh, the basic uh, mods that have been made, basically the underside of the feet here, they now tab into this section here. There's a small tab just on the inside there. It doesn't tab in brilliantly. Like I say, the resiliences and clearance and that are still being tested, but they peg in and it keeps the legs locked out of the way. There's this hinge here. I'll cover this when we transform him. That was a little bit uh, scary, to say the least, uh, when we transformed it with the original toy. It's a much thicker plastic now. I mean, the whole thing is a much more solid uh, plastic than the original. Nothing feels cheap on it. Nothing feels like it's going to break. That being said, mine does have some stress marks on it already just by the crotch section, but I have literally been putting this thing through its paces. I've been transforming it left, right and centre, just seeing what the clearance is like and what works and what doesn't. Uh, so it's something I'm going to report back. Bearing in mind they have used clear plastics on the crotch section. Obviously that will not be used in the final production sample. Um, yes, alt mode is pretty much identical. It is well, it feels a little bit wider. I think that's probably because they've uh, accommodated for the additional thickness in plastic. And they've also accommodated for hinges on the crotch waist, which allows him to have a much better range of motion. Now, let's get him transformed up. Transformation has remained exactly the same for this guy. Things are literally just kind of pegged in, and it's a matter of just untabbing everything and folding it out. I'll show you what I mean uh, by the leg issue in a moment. Just hoik the knee section out. We now have a nice joint at the knee which allows the knee to come up and over. So it's now a nice straight leg. No modifications necessary. Uh, let's just um, pull that back over and clear up the back of the leg. And we come round to the feet. We now also have a heel spur as standard as well. We didn't have a heel spur with the initial release of this. Just put the uh, foot in there and we can flick the heel spur down. It's only a small little bit there, but it's definitely enough to help with his balance. Rotate these around one and two. You see the uh, flap section now that you've got these two flappy bits there. Now these are the bits that I have been having the most trouble with because I'm quite heavy handed. I do tend to pop these out but they're on a very secure kind of ball joint section in there uh, which I don't know if you can see it. I might be able to wiggle one out so you can 
have a look. So you see, I mean, they are, I can't wiggle it out. See, they are in there pretty firmly, but I have occasionally knocked them out when I've been posing him, bringing it right the way forwards. But again, that's nothing drastic. It is just a very small uh, problem I've had, but it's definitely not a downside to the toy. Right, let's untab these arms, untab this arm, rotate the arms down, like so. Separate this section, rotate these up, hinge this section up. Uh, these are going to flip around like so, and around like so. Uh, this is the bottom section before, you see. You know, there's no issue there now whatsoever. That can go all the way around. Same on this side, up and over, no issues at all. Sliders are still nice and firm. This section can come up, over and clip. Bring the arms around, flip Ollie's head up, uh, pop that through the hole. This section goes up and around. And then we're gonna line that up and just tab these sections over the wheels like so, and just flip the arms out and around. I still have trouble doing that. Uh, you either have to have really sharp nails or just a handy screwdriver arm attachment. Now the heel spurs are pretty small and they don't make the hugest amount of difference, but it's enough to make him a much more stable figure. I mean, this is not an ideal surface to be posing him on. But, I mean, they keep the foot completely flat and they do give you more surface area. He's never going to be able to do a high kick, I don't think. But he is definitely, definitely up there on the top of the improvement scales. Uh, let's just take a look at the articulation. Feet can go left and right. We can go forwards and backwards. And, of course, we do have that heel spur. We do have a little bit of extra movement as well to extend the foot base. The toe can go up and down. We do have a nice bend at the knee and no issue there with that knee pad. We have swivel at the upper knee. We've got these front skirts that can move up and the back skirts moved up as well. So we've got range forwards and backwards. We can come out to the side. There's a ball up in the actual thigh joint as well. The waist can rotate. Uh, the arms can come forwards and backwards on this butterfly joint. Uh, they can go all the way around on that ball joint and come up nice and high. We do have an upper bicep swivel. We actually have a nice hidden double jointed elbow joint there and then it actually comes out and up giving us a nice range of motion on that joint. We have a bend at the wrist open and closing on the hands. Nice thick hands on this, much nicer than the original. The original, the fingers were a little bit floppy, now they've fixed that. Uh, the neck can rock forwards and backwards, and we can look up and down all the way around. So, there we have it. What do you all think? Is there room on the market for this upgraded version of Ollie? I mean, we have the Titan Wars Wheelie coming out very, very soon. So, is this a smart move? Is it going to sell? Uh, I personally am going to order mine. I'm going to order mine from Eric over at Madhouse Toys. Uh, like I say, having this in hand, it's fun. And it is a vast improvement. I loved Ollie. And he looks amazing in my collection. But, this does really hold a pose that much better than this guy. I mean, I'm going to be interested to see how the paint scheme comes up as well. Uh, I mean, this is pretty good. It's not quite spot on, but it's pretty good. I've heard that this section here may be clear as well. I'm really looking forward to seeing it all painted up because the paint on X-Trans has definitely improved as well. Uh, it tastes better. <laughs> I hope you guys have found this video useful. It's been fun messing around with these. I love messing about with test shots and I love buying the final versions as well just to see how much they have changed. I mean, I know this guy is early days and there's still a lot to do with him, but 
regards to articulation, they have made vast improvements. Uh, maybe I'd like the heel spurs to be just a little bit bigger, just even more surface area for those feet, so you can do some striking high kicks. But that is just a small quibble. At the end of the day, I just wanted the KO oversized Grimlock and Wheelie to stand prominently on my shelf. Until next time, guys and girls, thanks for watching. Uh, goodbye.